Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Raven and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Raven's ability to understand and respond to her formal on-leash obedience commands. The little tiny corrections and lots of motivation that we give in the form of clicker and treats that we use when we're working with her. Rich is also using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in his right hand, which leaves his left hand free to give any little correction that's needed. And that's that little tug and release on her training collar. And that's the only form of correction and motivation that we give. Now she's sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And they're going to start out demonstrating the heel. Heel is proper leash walking and incorporated into the heel is an automatic sit. So if you want to take her for a walk, baby in a stroller, whatever you need to do, it should be easy because she knows how to heel now, which is not dragging you down the street on a leash. This is your sit stay, which is a hand and a voice command. And because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one word command. I think she just realized I was here. When Rich returns back to her, he gives her a click for a good job, and they take off healing again. And Rich's job as her handler slash trainer is to keep her head up off the ground, to praise her, to encourage her, to keep her motivated. When he stops, she sits. And sometimes you'll notice he gives her a treat and sometimes he doesn't. And we're using very bland treats so that we don't upset her belly with too many rich treats. And this time instead of returning back to her, Rich is going to call her. This is your recall or your come on command. And it's Raven come and she's been taught to come and sit in front of you facing your knees, not jumping on you. The traffic cones that are in the forefront of this video screen we use to demonstrate healing skills and to teach better healing skills so figure eights you can use two trash cans two beach chairs whatever you want and she should heal along with you rich will leave her in another stay and demonstrate that recall again for you you use her name Don't get too overly excited when you're doing the come or she will come in and jump. You want her to come in and sit. And we have a mat out here for her to demonstrate for you her down command. Just trying to refocus the camera. This is her stay. down and stay. stay. Rich isn't using down. the mat right now. Down. Stay. And your stay. job at home will be to practice the amount of time she can hold it and the distance that you can go. And you have your hands full because you have this puppy, which is like having another toddler. So practice when you can. Practice when the baby's down for a nap and you can focus on her and remember to use your commands in your everyday living situations. And I'll have a packet of written information for you, scheduling and everything so that you can make the transition to home pleasant as possible and, and easy as possible. Good job, good calm and sit. She looks like a postcard. <laughs> so we have demonstrated for you all of Raven's formal on-leash obedience commands. She has done a great job while she's been here at school. I'll answer any questions that you have tomorrow morning. Thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company and she's off to get a bubble bath. <laughs>